way top left. Where that green thing is. It's so pretty out here. See how well this gimbal works. I'm gonna go for a walk. I think this likes to turn on its own. It has like a mind of its own, kind of. I'm gonna go say goodnight to my uh, aunt that I almost just said grandmother again. Had a fun day on the beach. I was there for like maybe an hour, maybe a couple hours. Then I rested in the room, did a couple things on my computer, and uh, I actually fell asleep. And I napped, which was like a great nap, but I kept getting woken up by like my brother and his friend. So that was a little bit annoying. I missed dinner. But now I'm gonna go for a walk. I'm gonna go on the 50s bridge. There's actually two bridges if you guys don't know about Ocean City. The 50s bridge is north, the 90s bridge is south. So that's that's a difference. I don't know if you guys can notice, but this is with the gimbal. I'm testing out the gimbal right now to see how well it works. So, the only thing I'm noticing that it kind of has a mind of its own. But Behind me, that is the Martin. As soon as you get off the 50s into Ocean City, that's what you see first, which is pretty cool. It's like a silver statue, I would say. We're walking up to the 50s. There's uh, little sidewalks on each side of the actual 50s bridge that you're able to walk on. I just had a guy uh, say hello to me. <laughs> That's awkward. Right below me is a pier that you can actually fish off of. There's also a bunch of bars down there I'm probably gonna go to later. Um, as you can hear, there's a lot of cars and motorcycles that are going by. I'm a little nervous because I'm holding this with my right arm and my right arm is facing the actual street so I'm afraid of like a car actually clips my camera but I think I'll be alright. We're coming up we're coming up to the um, I would say guard post guard tower to actually open up the gates of the bridge right behind me, I think you can see it soon, maybe after the post. You can see there's a boat, it kind of looks like a pirate ship. You can rent the boat and actually fish off of it. I'm gonna go fishing later. Maybe not today, probably later during the week. But, this is the 50s bridge. There's probably gonna be some people fishing on it. You can probably see the boat now. That's the boat. It's like a miniature pirate ship. Coming up to a dude fishing this. So yeah. Keep it walking. I think I'm gonna walk the entire length on one side and then do the other side. I'll show you guys the other side real quick. Some people over there fishing. It's gonna be me soon. I don't know if I'm gonna rent a boat this year. I rented a boat last year and uh, that was pretty cool. It was like 120 bucks to rent like a skiff. It's pretty cool. Or you can just fish off the side of the 50s bridge. Which 95% of people do anyway. It's really peaceful. Walking on this bridge. There's some good fish out here. 
if you like fishing. I definitely enjoy fishing. You're gonna find a lot more flukes. Uh, I caught a lot of flukes last year. Um, I also caught like a tiny little uh, caper and uh, catfish. Actually, I caught a catfish last year. The same way that I went. So we're still on the west north side. We're still on the north side of the bridge, the north side boardwalk. So you're gonna see just a different background, but the same side of the bridge. Now I have the camera hanging over the water, so I'm freaking out <laughs> holding on to this handle so tight. In my opinion, I really don't like this gimbal. So far, I feel like it's doing more worse than good. So I think I'm just going to stick without the gimbal. Down there at the end of the pier is where you pay like $25 and you get to fish for as long as you want. Uh, you can catch a lot, of, a lot of good fish, not the best. Uh, a couple years back I went down there with my uncle who I'm really upset that he's not here this year. He bought a new house that he actually needs a lot of help with that I'm probably gonna help when I get home. Uh, it's a fixer-upper, so. Way out there, that's the end of the pier that I was talking about. That is where you can pay $25 and fish. The thing is, I'm the kind of person, I really don't like big crowds. I don't like that like crazy, loud, club kind of person. I just like chilling, relaxing, enjoying my uh, time. I wouldn't say I'm a loner, but I don't like big crowds. Very old school. Just looked at the sign. It says notice no fishing allowed. Yet yeah, there's like hundreds of people that fish on uh, this pier, uh, on this bridge all the time. I'm waiting to jaywalk the bridge. If I die, carry on my legacy. Oh, I'm crossing now. I almost died by falling. That's the other end. The other side of the bridge. So it's pretty nice. I'm only gonna walk halfway and then turn around. So I gotta edit this video all night long. Actually, a fun video editing. It's uh, it's different than what I'm used to. I'm such a outgoing person and very hands-on person that I kind of like the relaxing, sitting behind a computer, editing a video part of the day. Because you're know, high fighters and I'm an EMT, so it's a different change of pace. Super 
numbers that I was talking about. If I zoom in, you'll see it. That's Hooper's. It's actually a really good restaurant. There's actually a pier there too. All their food comes from here and in the ocean. They catch it and they do everything themselves. I hate the awkward eye contact you make with somebody when you're walking past them <laughs> on literally this is like single lane. So walking the opposite way of somebody, <laughs> the awkward eye contact that you get. I think it's hilarious, <laughs> but it's so awkward. I feel like I'm an awkward kind of person though. Where like I make things awkward when they really aren't awkward. But <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right. So that is the 50s bridge. I think tomorrow or at the end of my trip, I'm going to take the 90s bridge. I'm definitely taking the 90s bridge home. I always take the 50 bridge to get to my actual hotel room uh, since it's literally the closest bridge to where I'm staying. So I like to take the 90s bridge home. It's just a beautiful bridge. It's so long. You probably saw it in some, like maybe some of the pictures. I don't know if I'm gonna add a picture to this one, but it's beautiful. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be the end of today's video. I uh, hope you guys liked it, and thanks for watching part two, or vlog two. I forgot what I named the first one. But yeah, the Ocean City vlog. So, I'll catch you guys tomorrow, which is part or day three. Alright, so have a wonderful night.